Yeah, the largest event in our area seems to be over here at the Battery, which confirmed to me recently that the event is a go. We also know that several of the smaller restaurants on the property are also going to be having their own events as well. This all comes as other smaller venues across the metro tell me they're certain their New Year's Eve plans won't be canceled. Probably watching some football and going to bed early. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We'll be going to bed normal time. The plan is to go to a bar somewhere around Atlanta, but uh, seeing how things with COVID go, it's my change. Planning for New Year's is hard after a year tough to celebrate. All my friends that I would typically want to like spend New Year's with, I would either have like relatives that tested positive or whatever, so it's like better to just be safe. Last minute plans switched up all over the metro. Small restaurants like Amore in Inman Park and larger events, most recently the balloon drop at Chattahoochee Food Works canceled due to COVID. If we were having this discussion a week and a half ago, I probably would be telling you, yeah, there won't be a New Year's Eve this year. But restaurants like Ticonderoga Club are confident they'll stay open because they already dealt with unexpected closures for Christmas. 40% of our staff, you know, test positive and we have a staff of 13 as of two days ago that we'll have a full roster of staff again. It's like, okay, cool, we can do this. Like many other restaurants open New Year's Eve, the club is reservation only at very limited capacity. I'd say 95% of them are regulars. It made sense and we thought this will be a positive way to close the year both for our guests and ourselves. And a late Christmas gift for some turned away last week. Two if not three of the parties were on the books for both Christmas and New Year's Eve. So yeah, that we'll be seeing them for New Year's Eve. Now other safety strategies I've heard about for today, they're being stricter about wearing masks, even if it's just to get up from your table and go to the bathroom. Another safety strategy, reducing the table capacity to just 50%. For now, reporting live from Cobb County, Savannah Louise, CBS 46 News. What a